Wyland Park Civic, better known as Wyland Park, is a neighborhood just south of The Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio. High Street and the CSX Railroad tracks define the neighborhood's west and east borders, and the neighborhood extends north to south from Chittenden Avenue to Fifth Avenue. Diane Dixon has lived in Wyland Park her entire life and resides in her childhood home. Originally purchased by her parents after her father returned from World War II, she has seen factories close, gangs move in, community coalitions form, and the emergence of neighborhood revitalization efforts. Seen here as a child, Diane values the personal history of her neighborhood. Through revitalization grants provided by community coalitions, Diane was able to renovate her home. Her street is also home to her sister's family and her son's family. The implementation of three community action groups committed to the well-being of the Wyland Park community demonstrates how urban revitalization can occur without major displacement of residents and loss of neighborhood culture. In this short film, I will document the details of the Wyland Park Renewal Initiatives in Columbus, Ohio in order to shed light on how the inclusion of stakeholders can minimize displacement while also creating a mixed income neighborhood and providing additional resources for all residents. This little known history of Wyland Park is relevant today because it shows how community engagement can lead to equitable neighborhood revitalization. There are many financially struggling neighborhoods within American cities, and Wyland Park's use of community action groups to engage all stakeholders can be used as a model for other struggling communities to provide new opportunities for residents while strengthening relationships. As seen by Wyland Park's current High Street border, extensive projects have been completed to achieve this goal within the neighborhood. This was High Street in the 1970s. The Wyland Park neighborhood developed originally as a streetcar suburb to house professors of OSU and workers of the nearby Columbus Coated Factories plant. However, as globalization emerged in the 1970s and unemployment rose, gangs moved into the neighborhood and houses became vacant. In fact, Wyland Park had some of Columbus's highest rates of violent crime during the 1980s and 90s. One dangerous gang called Wyland Park their home. In 1995, an FBI sting operation resulted in the arrest of over 60 gang members of the Short North Posse. Majority of these arrests were on cocaine-related charges. The mass arrest of gang members created an opportunity for revitalization within Wyland Park. After the arrest of the Short North Posse, the Ohio State University and the City of Columbus worked together to form Campus Partners. Campus Partners is a nonprofit organization that seeks to improve the neighborhoods surrounding the university through a comprehensive approach to neighborhood renewal with partnerships among the major stakeholders. Since its beginnings in 1995, the organization has conducted research into the desires of Wyland Park residents, resulting in many housing and public works projects. In 2016, Campus Partners collaborated with the Community Housing Network to open Terrence Place. This mixed-use development offers 60 units to house the formerly homeless and those at risk of homelessness due to disabilities. Its central and location near the elementary school and the literal Wyland Park makes it a hub for community engagement. The project also houses the OSU Extension and provides counseling and adult education services in topics such as GED preparation, preventing infant mortality, and financial planning. This first coalition for renewal greatly advanced the revitalization of Wyland Park and inspired other action groups. The second main community action group founded was the Wyland Park Community Civic Association. It focuses on neighborhood pride and strengthening relationships within the community. WPCCA hosts an annual Wyland Park Community Festival and holds monthly meetings for residents to discuss their concerns, neighborhood news, and to provide updates on development projects. The Wyland Park Community Civic Association informs the other coalition groups within the neighborhood about the outcomes of these meetings and the desires of residents to guide the planning process and the economic development of the neighborhood. The Wyland Park Neighborhood Plan established that the city's main priority for the neighborhood was revitalization rather than gentrification of the neighborhood. In addition, the plan was written by the City of Columbus, the Wyland Park Community Civic Association, and Campus Partners. The plan established that the city hoped to improve public resources and developed a mixed-income neighborhood. 
Throughout the drafting process, many community meetings and hearings were held by the Wyland Park Community Civic Association to maintain the plan's guiding principle, which is to assure that the current residents of the Wyland Park community have the opportunity to benefit from the improvements to the community resulting from the implementation of this plan. In 2010, Wyland Park Collaborative was founded. This organization has assumed the responsibility for overseeing the economic development and the planning process of the neighborhood. However, the Wyland Park Community Civic Association still hosts stakeholder meetings to inform the WPC for their projects. Wyland Park Collaborative is a coalition of over 21 corporations and nonprofits that are focused on improving and sustaining the quality of life in Columbus's Wyland Park neighborhood. They have advocated for stakeholder engagement and accessible public meetings to ensure equitable development. There have been many projects supplemented by both private and public funds to improve the neighborhood by attracting new residents and increasing resources for current low-income residents. Majority of these projects have been led by Campus Partners or Wyland Park Collaborative through coordination with the City of Columbus. Since 2006, the neighborhood has been classified as a neighborhood investment district. This gives tax incentives to new business developments. Island Park Collaborative has helped the city to plan development such as the new $12 million infill development and retail development project in the area of Wyland Park known as East Village. This project will create 82 residential units, some of it which will be classified as affordable housing units. The success of this project and many others is dependent upon the input from current residents who desired more affordable housing units at the original planning meeting. Housing has remained an important topic of debate for residents of Wyland Park. The City of Columbus saw the recession as an opportunity to improve low-income housing in Wyland Park due to the availability of foreclosed homes. The City purchased these homes with funds from the Federal Neighborhood Stabilization Program. However, there has also been a large amount of luxury and market rate apartments being built within the neighborhood. While this has altered the landscape of Wyland Park, the city has attempted to minimize displacement and promote a mixed income community by making provisions for affordable and low income housing within these new developments. But some residents fear that this is not enough. Residents such as Diane are excited to see the neighborhood flourishing and investments being made into the community. However, Diane is also terrified of being priced out of her neighborhood due to rising property taxes. As she looks out from her ports, she is uncertain about the future. Despite best efforts, there has been displacement associated with the revitalization of Wyland Park. In the 2013 Progress Report written by the Wyland Park Collaborative, it was stated that the Wyland Park neighborhood had lost approximately 45% of its total population over the last 50 years. However, some of that displacement was before revitalization efforts began and due to the loss of manufacturing and high crime within the neighborhood, as well as the Great Recession. Between 1990 and 2010, the neighborhood lost 1,000 residents, which was once the revitalization began. However, the addition of market rate housing and affluent neighbors have increased the tax revenue within the neighborhood, which enables the city to fund more public projects. For example, according to the Columbus Dispatch, the greater diversity of incomes aided the advocacy efforts of Wyland Park Collaborative in securing the development site which led to the building of a new Kroger shopping center near the southern border of Wyland Park. The new Kroger shopping center has provided both jobs and additional tax revenue for the neighborhood. While a mixed income neighborhood brings additional economic opportunities for the community, it also poses a difficult challenge for planners trying to find a balance between revitalization and equity. Since community coalitions began renewal efforts, crime has dramatically been reduced in the Wyland Park neighborhood. In 1998, there were 732 reported assaults, which were reduced to 244 reported assaults in 2011. There has also been an emphasis on education for children and adults within the neighborhood. The new Columbus Public Library branch, elementary school, OSU Extension, and Family Center 
demonstrate the neighborhood's commitment to education. In terms of housing, one successful technique city planners used was deconcentrating and redistributing low-income housing equally throughout the neighborhood. One study from the Initiative for a Competitive Inner City stated that Wyland Park proves displacement and gentrification can be successfully managed through engaging residents and expanding a range of housing and rental options to create demographic balance. The Wyland Park project is almost 30 years old and time will tell if persistence of community action groups will continue to aid the neighborhood. But for now, Wyland Park can be used as a model of equitable urban revitalization for other struggling communities.